Blueprint of Excellence, a visual compendium of engineer Prince Bead Uchechuku Obio has 35 years of dedicated service to Nigeria. In the chronicles of Nigeria's engineering landscape, few names resonate with such authority, integrity and brilliance as engineer Prince Bead Uchechuku Obioha. For 35 unbroken years, he has stood at the intersection of vision and execution, translating blueprints into highways, bridges and resilient road networks that connect communities and power the nation's growth. As he bows out in honor, Nigeria salutes a statesman of engineering, a consummate professional whose fingerprints are etched in the arteries of national development. Engineer Obioha's journey is a compelling narrative of grit and grace. It began in 1985 at Rich Ben Nigeria Limited, where his uncommon brilliance propelled him to the position of director in charge of projects. By 1992, he had risen further as managing director of Take On Nigeria Limited, a subsidiary showcasing early leadership that combined technical mastery with strategic foresight. His transition into public service came through his appointment as deputy chairman, member of the Olu Local Government Caretaker Committee, where he oversaw works, housing, lands and survey departments, and even briefly acted as chairman. This seamless blend of private sector acumen and public administration defined the unique engineer leader he would later become. His private and public works and successes did not come without hurdles. He shares his major challenges. The most challenging periods are taking certain decisions that are, uh, you know, not considered palatable but had to be taken. The biggest challenge of man is change. It's difficult to change people. And when you are used to a system, it's difficult to change you from that system. Born in Okwabala, or Lu local government area of Imo State, to the late His Royal Highness Eze Richard A. Obioha and late Ugeze Bernadette Obioha, his story is firmly rooted in heritage and excellence. From his first school leaving certificate, 1976, to the General Certificate of Education, 1982, and ultimately a Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering from Asutech, 1988. He laid a strong intellectual foundation. His thirst for knowledge fueled him further, earning a Master of Engineering in Water Resources, 1997, and remarkably, a Master of Science in Project Management in 2023, both from FUTO. Few men embody lifelong learning so passionately. He reconnects his humble beginnings his accomplishments and the winding paths he traversed through the ministry and the states. My journey to federal service started uh, with uh, the defunct Petroleum Trust Fund PTF. I was engaged by PTF in 1999. I resumed duty in Federal Ministry of Works as Assistant Chief Engineer in 2006. I was posted to Highway Southeast Division as it was known then. Then through there, I was in that position, became chief engineer and became assistant director. Before I was now uh, moved to a project in between Abia State and the Boy State as the engineer's representative or head of the project. I was going to Abia State still as Federal Controller of Works. And as Federal Controller of Works, you superintend all the projects within the state. Uh, while in Abia, I got promoted as a director and I was posted to, in the first instance, to headquarters as director in charge of Southeast Department, as it's now known. And from Southeast Department, I was deployed to Director Bridges South and from Director Bridges South I became coordinating director for Bridges and Design. From his return to Rich Ben as director and chairman of Tryon Nigeria Limited, his compass turned fully national with the Petroleum Trust Fund, where he served as assistant chief program officer for the road sector winding up program. His contributions expanded further at the National Poverty Eradication Program 
Napep, where he served as secretary in Anambra and Abia states. This foundation ushered him into the Federal Ministry of Works, where destiny truly aligned with purpose. Rising from assistant chief engineer, highways, to director, highways, his career trajectory was one of unrelenting excellence. In the course of his public and private life, people's eyes have been on him. Many underscore and share their sentiments about him. Engineer Prince Obioha is a welcoming man. He's a very honest man. He's a hardworking man. He's an icon. He has broken new grounds in engineering. He's, he's a complete decabalized man. He's a very generous man and always look after the progress of his subordinates. Engineer Upuya has been like a father figure to me personally. He's been a friendly person. He's a jovial person. He's a wonderful person. He's a kind being. He's a seasoned engineer, dedicated to his work, committed, and he has actually taken pains to train a lot of engineers in the system. Engineer Obiwa Hauchechuku is uh, my work father. He's like a father to me and a good person. He's a very gentleman and somebody who is in the in the field of engineering. My beloved brother, in whom I'm well pleased. You know your onions very well when it comes to civil engineering. Ah, uh, he's a great man. Is one of the pillars we have in the ministry. Take him as one of my favorite boss. Very, very nice man. Um, he has been my boss. And um, he's somebody we are going to really, really miss. He's a very good person. Good personality in terms of technical work. He An exceptional engineer. Exceptional human being. He's a man with a lion heart. He's a great man. A well-respected engineer and federal minister of works is known for his spirit of inclusiveness. Technically, I feel him devote himself for the development of Nigeria infrastructure. Part of this job that does not know, he knows everything about this job. He's a well-detailed man, well-informed. Engineer Opio is my mentor, the gentleman. Egoing person, very dedicated, well experienced. He's a very fine and refined engineer. He's a very sound and intelligent engineer. Engineer Bioha is a straightforward man and is professional to the court. He's a complete gentleman and a very intelligent engineer. Across the decades, he became synonymous with monumental projects. As engineer's representative, he supervised iconic works such as the Ohafia Osol Road, Abia and Ebony States, the rehabilitation of Oji, Achi, Maku, Ogwu, Ndiabo, Mpu, Okbanku, Akeze Road, Enugu and Ebony States, and critical dualization works like the Lokoja Benin Road sections 2 and 4. These projects are not just physical structures, but lifelines for trade, mobility and integration. While the demands of the job were daunting and expectations sky-high, he carved out balance with remarkable composure. He shares secrets of how he managed work and family responsibilities. I must commend my family for the understanding they have shown. We try to strike a balance. Uh, without understanding from especially my wife, I don't think it would have been as easy as it looked. As Federal Controller of Works in Ebonyi and Abia states, he supervised all federal highway projects, leaving behind a reputation for integrity and efficiency. His leadership continued at headquarters, where he served as Director of Federal Highways, Bridges and Design, having earlier excelled as Director of Highways Construction and Rehabilitation, Southeast Zone and Director of Highways, Bridges, South. He recounts his most fulfilling moments. What I will consider my fulfilling moment is at each point I'm posted, I don't think I ask for the posting. I am picked out as being suits 
to handle that particular I think it's a privilege. Beyond his professional accomplishments, engineer Obioha's commitment to scholarship and ethics elevated the engineering community. He is a registered engineer with Corin, a fellow of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, FNSE, Nigerian Institution of Civil Engineers, FNICE, and Nigerian Institution of Highways and Transportation Engineers, FNIHTE. His technical papers, including use of slag as an aggregate for structural concrete and gully and sheet erosion control measures remain valuable contributions to knowledge. On the personal front, he exemplifies service and tradition. A fourth degree knight of St. Mulumba, a Paul Harris Fellow of Rotary International and a traditional title holder of Diokpa Eze and Dure Gero of Okwabala Autonomous Community. He now stands as Eze elect awaiting state recognition. During his university years, his charisma and leadership were evident when he was crowned Eze Chinyerugo and served as the pioneering president of the Rotrak Club of Oka. Family anchors his greatness. Married to Lady Princess Anita Obioha with three biological and five adopted children, he has nurtured not only roads and bridges, but lives and values. A widely travelled professional, his footprints span workshops, seminars and conferences across continents. As he takes his final bow from public service, Engineer Obioha's legacy glows far beyond asphalt and steel. It is etched in mentorship, community empowerment and patriotic service. His colleagues and mentees share how he will be deeply missed as he bows out of the service. We're going to miss him greatly because he carries with him a lot of knowledge and leadership qualities. The ministry will miss his technical ability especially. He likes solving problems. He holds one of the key elements in the ministry. And uh, I just pray after his retirement, we can still call him for one or two things, at least to be of help to the system. He will be greatly missed. And me personally, I will also miss him as well. OBR is a very technical person and um, he uses his technical abilities. Amazing is spokesperson. Somebody that uh, has the interests of staff at heart. We are going to miss that world of experience seriously. He's a people's builder and I know that they're definitely going to miss him. But for one, we miss him. But at least I know that he's still with us, even though he's Disciplined, professional, very knowledgeable, and one of the assets that they have in the Federal Ministry of Works right now. Engineer Obioha passionately shares his feelings and sentiments as he leaves the office. Uh, it's been a mixed feeling of uh, challenges, problems, solving problems. But uh, to God be the glory. We came, we saw, we fought, and I believe we conquered. He offers words of advice to young engineers on charting paths to meaningful contributions and successful careers. Learn the job. Be proficient in what you're doing. Understand what you're doing. Nigeria indeed owes a debt of gratitude to this prince among engineers, a man who married royalty with responsibility and passion with patriotism. Family, friends and colleagues shower him with prayers and goodwill messages as he transitions into a new chapter. He will do better than his fathers and his people will see a lot of progress and they will move higher and higher. Um, I wish him well. You know. Wish him long life, excellent health and all the good things in life. His future is brighter than his today. But all the same, I wish him all the best. We wish him well and um, we pray that God continues to guide him in all his future endeavors. We wish him the best. Changing and hope you have the best life can offer after retirement. Pray God to continue to give him good health and good life. I wish him well. I wish him great. I mean, I wish him long life and prosperity. Wisdom, I wish him health. I wish him happiness you know, just, and success in everything else. I wish Igwe long life 
good health. And I wish him all the best in the next chapter. Everything he wants to do, God will bless it. I wish him well. I wish him success in his future endeavors. Pray for him that God will keep him in good health. I pray the second phase of his life is going to be more bountiful than the years that he stayed in service. I wish him all the best. I wish him a greater height in his career. His retirement may mark the closing of an era, but the blueprint of his life, of excellence, service and vision will continue to guide future generations.